I tried a whole lot of things that didn't work. I tried hypnotherapy, I tried past life regression, I tried a lot of weird shamanic things. I went into all of them not knowing whether or not they were going to do anything. And the thing is that if I hadn't tried those things and failed, I would never have gotten to the solution that I got to. Hey, I'm Joyner here, and today I'm going to be talking about the three biggest mistakes that guys make when they're trying to heal their ED. So the first one is staying in hopelessness. So I understand that why you feel this way. ED is a really challenging problem, and it sucks, and it takes over your whole fucking life, but you cannot allow yourself to stay stuck in this forever because it's a huge obstacle to healing. So ED isn't just one problem, it's a whole bunch of little problems, and one of the biggest obstacles you're actually facing, one of the first things that you have to do, is get yourself out of hopelessness. Because if you don't, you're just going to keep moving further and further away from healing yourself. So if you're stuck in this state, one of the first things that you need to do is find a way to motivate yourself. Get your emotional state out of this. So your emotions are impacted by a lot of things. They're impacted by your environment, impacted by what you think about, what you pay attention to, what you do with your time, whether you're doing stuff with your body, all those things can impact your emotional state. So what you want to do is use any of those different factors to try and make yourself feel better and remind yourself that problems often have solutions if you actually focus on them. So one of the really nice things that actually does come out of this hopelessness, believe it or not, is that there is an inner strength that you have inside yourself that you'll never find if you don't go through a period like this. When I was going through ED, I can tell you the entire time I didn't think I was going to be able to heal. I thought I was just screwed and the rest of my life I was going to be alone and not be able to have sex. And what eventually came out of it is there is something inside, something that's really difficult to find, something that's really difficult to harness and get a hold of, that you can only find in a time when things are really, really difficult. And so if you're in this hopelessness, the thing that will actually help you get out of it the most is finding something, finding something inside yourself that will pull you out, that'll motivate you and say, yes, I'm going to rise up and I'm going to do this. I'm not going to sit here and wallow anymore because that's not going to help me with anything. And if you think about it, no one wants to go into the bedroom in this hopelessness. You would never go into the bedroom in that way and think this is going to create a good, strong emotional connection or a really enjoyable sex ex sexual experience for my partner. But if you think about it, you find that inner strength, that inner animal, which is the thing that will help you get over that. That is what you want to bring into the bedroom. So what you're actually searching for is the, the thing, the part of yourself that you're not very comfortable with, that animalistic side. It's a little bit primal that you really, really want to find and harness and bring it out into the bedroom. And you'll find it when you're the furthest from that. So the other thing that we have to talk about when, we, when it comes to hopelessness is that hopelessness actually leads to our second problem, and that is inaction. The biggest reason that you need to get out of hopelessness is because when you feel that way, it prevents you from taking consistent action. But the emotional state is not going to change until you actually do something about it. It's not something where you wait for it to go away and then, uh, and then you start taking action. So inaction, to me, is the number one thing that will guarantee that you have ED a month from now, six months from now, a year from now, or ten years from now. Because you have to change something. And you, if you don't do anything to change, it's, it's going to stay the same. And there's a really strange thing that happens is when you actually go from not taking any type of action to taking even small actions you'll notice you start to feel better. You'll feel a little bit less hopeless. You'll recognize that even if you try something and it doesn't work, it's better than if you didn't do anything. So I tried a whole lot of things that didn't work. I tried hypnotherapy. I tried past life regression. I tried a lot of weird shamanic things. I tried acupressure. I tried acupuncture. I tried qigong. I tried yoga. I tried a lot of things. I went into all of them not knowing whether or not they were going to do anything. And the thing is, that if I hadn't tried those things and failed, I would never have gotten to the solution that I got to. So whether or not you try something and it works immediately is, it's, it's irrelevant. The fact is you have to do things. And if you're having trouble finding things to do, one of the best things that you can do is go to my website. It's listed down below and get on my email list because I send out things every week that talk about little basic small actions that you can take. All right, and the last mistake I want to talk about today is waiting until you believe you can do it to try something. So 
belief actually comes from action, not the other way around. If you wait until you believe that you can heal this, you are never going to heal it. So this is a really important one because I've never had a single client come to me that believed that they were going to heal and they still healed. They're oftentimes very shocked at how quickly it happens because to them, it's just not possible. The belief is completely and totally irrelevant. You should not sit around waiting until you believe something's possible to try and do it. It causes me a lot of pain because I know how painful ED is. And I talk to a lot of guys about this problem. And you can see the guys who just have such a crippling disbelief in this. And I just know what's going to happen. I know the path for them forward is that they're not going to do anything and they're just going to stew in it. And I hate watching guys with, deal with a problem that is completely fixable. It's a very fixable problem. And the only thing that's standing in their way is this lack of belief. And that lack of belief is something you just have to understand. It can't be the measure for whether or not you're going to try something. If you wait for it, you're going to wait forever. And if you don't wait for it, if you can find a way to recognize like, okay, I don't have to believe this is possible. I'm just going to try it. Then that's the best chance you're ever going to have of healing. And that's what happened to me. I tried so many things that I didn't know whether or not they'd work. And the reason that I got past it and the reason that I'm very good at helping other people with this is because I know what works and I know it doesn't work. So once you start to understand the problem, it's not as big of a deal to deal with. But you have to get past the idea that the belief is important. And the other kind of thing that plays into this is the bonus tip that I want to give. The last mistake that you're making here is that you're trying for the Hail Mary approach. And so if you're not into American football, a Hail Mary is the last ditch effort that a team makes at the end of a game when they're down. It's like trying to throw a 70 yard pass and, and hope that it'll complete and so they can score instead of taking it yard by yard, which is what they do not at the, the end of a game. So most of the guys that I talk to, their minds are focused on how do I get this problem fixed today? And the thing about ED is ED isn't one problem and you're not gonna find one solution on the internet that just magically fixes all of it. What happens is that you find a bunch of little subtle problems that are kind of interwoven together. And so dealing with ED is about systematically one by one tackling those problems until the whole thing works again. And so if you are going with the mindset of, I have to fix this right now, it has to be fixed today or I'm a failure or insert you know painful thing you're saying to yourself, you're not gonna get past it because realistically you have to take actions knowing that you're not going to see the fruits of those labors for a month or two months or three months and if you're willing to do that you'll get through it and if you're not willing to do it i don't know what i can tell you because there's no other way out that i'm aware of um i just want to close this off by saying that like the hardest part about this job for me is watching guys deal with a fixable problem and, and see that they're not willing to do a little bit of effort to try and to try and fix it. And I don't want you to be one of those guys. If you're watching this far into the video, and probably this isn't the first video of mine you've seen, you're trying, you're really looking for something. Get yourself out of hopelessness. Take some sort of action. Don't wait for yourself to believe it and recognize that you have to take actions knowing that you might not see the results you want today. It might take you a few weeks, a few months. And you have to do it anyway. And if you do that, you will overcome your ED. And if you want help with that, go to my website. Get on my email list or you can book a call with me. I also do coaching. I help men through this problem all the time. If you do the right things, you'll heal. If you don't do the right things, you're going to be stuck forever. And that's not fair to yourself because it's a fixable problem. I know you can do it. I didn't think I could do it either, but I did it. No one that I help thinks that, that they're going to heal, but they do. It's a fixable problem. Don't let yourself stay in hopelessness. All right, I'll see you next time.